in the friends in the previous two videos i have been doing problems on your request on the request of some students i am doing these problems some more problems on formation property substitute now <coughs> i have one more problem from the same exercise this is problem number 9 he says the problem is like this two boilers one with a superheater and the other without a superheater are delivering equal quantity of steam into a common main see there are two boilers let me say this is boiler 1 and this is boiler 2 so one is having a superheater so it it produces superheated steam so this is producing superheated steam this is not producing superheated steam it doesn't have a superheater it can produce either wet steam or at the most dry saturated steam now the steam equal quantity of steam comes and gets mixed in one pipe they are delivering into one common pipe one common pipe and uh, the this thing pressure here also it is 14.7 bar here also it is 14.7 bar here also it is 14.7 bar right this is delivering 14.7 bar steam this is also delivering 14.7 bar steam and these two steam come and mix here that is also 14.7 bar after mixing the pressure is 14.7 bar now the temperature of steam with the boiler from superheater this one here this is p here p soup it is superheated steam and p soup is 325 degree centigrade right here it is it is 250 degree centigrade 250 degree centigrade and uh, now he is telling what is the what is the uh, dryness fraction of steam that is what is the condition or quality of steam that is coming it can be either wet or it can be dry so what we have to find out is x if you get x less than 1 that means it is giving uh, uh, wet steam if it is equal to 1 then it will be this thing so this is the problem this is the problem problem number 9 from the same exercise i have selected all these problems from the same exercise from the same exercise from the same book i have selected them so i am doing this now now here let us say this is h1 this is h2 this is h the heat here is h there it is h1 then it is h2 now h1 plus h2 after mixing it becomes h h now here this h1 will be hg1 because it is superheated steam plus cp into t soup 1 minus t sat 1 because it is superheated steam this will be h1 plus plus h this will be 2h because this is 1 kg this is also 1 kg if it is supplying 1 kg here 1 kg here after mixing the mass becomes 2 kg h2 will be it is considering it as uh, hf plus x hfg is equal to is equal to 2 into hg you can take it as hg2 no problem or you can take this as hf2 x2 hfg2 this as hg uh plus here also it is cp into 
so minus t sat because it is superheated steam. Now from this equation I have to find out this. I have to find out the dryness fraction of steam which is coming from this boiler. Now what I will do? I will take that pressure. Pressure is 14.7 bar. I don't think it will be available here. Uh, it is not available. Here 14 is available. 14 bar is available. 15 bar is available. The given pressure is between these two. At 14 bar HF at 14 bar HF is eight thirty eight thirty kilojoules per kg HF is eight thirty here it is eight forty five eight forty five HFG HFG is uh, for 14 bar it is 14 bar it is 1960 I think 1960 kilojoules per kg 1960 here it is 1947 1947 uh, HG will be total of these two total of these two that is 2790 2790 uh, for 15 it is 2792 Right, that's it. Now, what is the values for 14.7? Now, what we have to do is difference between these two. What is the difference? 845 minus 835. Yeah, 830, sorry. 845 minus 830 will give me a difference of 15. 15 is the difference for a difference of 1 bar. So what is the difference here? This is 14.7 means for 0.7 bar how much? 15 into uh, this into uh, this into 0.7 divided by 1 that is into 0.7 will be 10.5 So 830 plus 10.5 830 plus 10.5 that will be 840.5 that will be HF HF will be 840.5 here the difference is 1960 minus 1947 here it will be reducing here it will be increasing 13 13 is the difference for 1 bar what is the difference for 0.7 bar into 0.7? 9.1 that should be subtracted from 1960. 1960 minus answer. That will be 1950.9. Uh, 1950.9. Here it will be, it won't require it. Okay, HG is there. Uh, 2 is the difference here. 2 divided by 1 into 0.7. That means 1.4. So it will be 27. 27. 91.4. 91.4. This is HF. This is HFG. This is HG. 
Now we have to make a substitution in this. Okay. So these are the values. These are the values for 14.7 bar. Hg1. That is 2791.4 plus Cp is not given. Not given I think. No, it is not given. So we will take it as 2.1. In case it is not given, you can take it like that. T sub 1, 325 minus T sat. T sat again here for 14. For 14, it is 195.3. For 14, T sat is 190. One ninety five, one ninety five degree centigrade. For fifteen, it is One ninety six point three, one ninety six point three degrees Celsius. Yeah. So the difference is one point three, one point three divided by one into point seven, point nine one. So you can take it as for fourteen point seven. 14.7 bar, you can take T sat as 195.9, 195.9 degree centigrade between these two, 195.9, right, this is this thing, plus HF, same pressure is same, so it will be 840.5. 840.5 x2 x2 I don't know into HFG2 that is 1950.9 is equal to is equal to 2 into HG 2791.4 minus 2.1 into this is 250 minus 195.9 now I'll rub this now this will be 325 minus 195 Point 0.9 subtract these two equals 129 something into 2.1 plus 2791.4 will give you 3062.5 3062.5 plus keep it like this only 840 minus 1950.9 x2 is equal to this 250 minus 195.9 equals into 2.1 plus 27 91.4 equals 2905 into 2 multiplied by 2 that will be 5810 5810
so 840 minus 1950.9 x2 will be equal to send this that side 5810 minus 3062.5 that will give me 5810 minus 3062.5 will give me 2747.5 27 Four seven point five. Then uh, this is plus. Then this must be transported that side minus eight forty. This is plus here. It goes there. It becomes minus. This will be equal to nineteen fifty point nine into x x r x two. It doesn't make two seven four seven point five. Minus 840, minus 840, 19 knots. This will be equal to 1907.5. So X2 will be equal to that is the condition of steam that is coming from this boiler will be equal to X will be equal to 1907.5 divided by. 1950.9 divided by 1950.9 it will give me 0 0.977 you can take it as 0 0.97 0 0.97 that is the quality of steam the steam that is coming here is wet steam it is 97% dry we can call that as because I have called that boiler as two. So this is how it is to be done. Uh, this is how it is to be solved. Now I think you have understood this now. I have done it for the benefit of all the students. Now if still you have any problem, that problem can be sent to me. Or you can ask doubt, you can comment, you can share, you can like and you can subscribe the channel so that you will be getting new videos new information as soon as it is it is done okay thank you